Welcome back guys. In today's video, The Quiet Landscape says my site only shows the HTML code pasted in from AdSense. I don't know how to rectify it. It's usually frustrating because there's no clear cut way to contact AdSense. That's true. So I'm stuck with this ugly HTML code on my website and no ad. Well, we're gonna help out and we're gonna try to troubleshoot this for you. And I'm gonna show you exactly how an ad appears on one of our demo sites from a tutorial. And hopefully you can just replicate the way this ad is and it'll show up on your site. All right, so I wish you had said where that ad is that you're trying to insert, but a good place is the sidebar and the way you can replicate this exactly with our uh, Small Business Saturday ad here and another ad beneath it, same ad, is just go to your widgets. So go back to the dashboard, hover on appearance, click widgets, and you can paste that code into a blank text widget like I've done right here. WordPress will even recommend the custom HTML widget instead. That would work too. And so I want to expand this and make sure that you have the script tag opening with the async and the script tag closing the entire little code chunk that we see right here. Now this is all I've inserted to get the code working. Then I just save it of course and then once the ad is approved and once the account is approved it shows up. Uh, using this method I've never seen that uh, raw HTML. If AdSense wants you to include a second piece of code on your back end to get the ad to show up on the front end, then you're gonna to need to install a plugin called WordPress Headers and Footers. So it's just plugins, add new, WordPress Headers and Footers. All right, then you install this plugin by WP Beginner, and you're gonna get settings for insert headers and footers. You're gonna go there and just like I've done for WP Insert Code, you just paste in um, any other code that AdSense gives you right in this window. So for example, I've put the Google Analytics code in here and I've put a Google font code in here and they go in the header code section. Um, this plugin, WP Insert Code, just isn't available anymore, so you'd use WordPress headers and footers instead. If doing that stuff doesn't get your ad to show up still, then check out this article we found, where is it? Can't see my AdSense for content ads. And it says, one reason is your AdSense code has not been properly implemented. So just read this section here, and it says your ads may not appear if you see any of these issues, if you didn't paste in the code in its entirety, if the code displays all on one line, or if the code has extra HTML tags within it, then your ad likely won't show. Um, those are other sort of troubleshooting tasks you can go through. If your ad still doesn't show, it could be because you have an ad blocker up, so we can see I do have an ad blocker here, but I'm allowing the site where I want my AdSense ads. So I get the green thumbs up. Um, you might have to disable an ad blocker. You might have to just change a browser setting. I'm using Google Chrome and I haven't changed any settings, but other browsers might have a setting that doesn't show AdSense code for whatever reason. Um, that would be one of the less likely cases. In any case, if your ad's still not working, uh, let us know in the comments below and we can help you troubleshoot it if you just uh, post a link to your site along with your comment. Then we can look at the code and see what's going on, hopefully quickly. All right, so I hope that helps you get AdSense ads to display properly on your homepage or anywhere on your blog. The AdSense code can be impl implemented in blog posts too and usually in other parts of WordPress, so hopefully we can get it to work fine. Big thanks to The Quiet Landscape for inspiring this video. I hope we can get those ads to show up so you can start earning some revenue from your blogging. Thanks so much for watching this video because I really enjoyed making this for you guys. And please, of course, make sure to subscribe so that you get, so that you get the answers to your questions if you're featured and so that you get the latest in WordPress how-to and tips. All right, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time.